All it takes is one decimate. Top deck Star Spring. Star Spring is needed. We should have actually potentially just gone into that attack and um, concerted strike. We're gonna, we should have left the concerted strike option open. Ah, oh, heart of the cards, Yugi. Heart of the cards. Hello, everyone. Gun is here with another deck for you today for Land Up Channel. Um, this time we are actually working with dragons. It's been a while since I've worked with dragons, so it was actually like a, a lot of fun to get back in there. So uh, let's get into this. So the deck is called Winged Death because it is the wingedness of the death. Uh, I have actually been wanting to do a dragon deck for some time, but I've always felt bad. I don't know, like in, in my soul, about playing this card, knowing the fact that its whole purpose is being being uh, is being bred to die. But it's in the game. It's a new card. We have to experiment with it. So this is adding dragon's shower there, which obviously once it gets to, once it dies to a dragon, uh, number one. It's helping buff the dragon. And number two, it's giving you draw. Now, what is very good in the latest patch notes is they actually buffed Shyvana. Now, now, now here's, the, here's the thing, right? A lot of people say that, oh, why are they nerfing Shyvana? Because they took her attack stat from um, four and put it down to three. But, what the, but the bit that people don't understand, the reason why this is actually a massive buff to Shyvana is they added the keyword fury to her first incarnation. Her first incarnation didn't used to have this keyword. And I don't think that people realize how big that is. In the past, the reason why I didn't like building with Shyvana is that when you were using things such as single combat or you were using the dragon challenge spell on her, the strafing strike, just like straight in the deck, the problem was that she wasn't getting the buffs from the from the kill. And that is actually a really important thing to have with any kind of dragon thing is that fury keyword. And that is so good. Plus as well, with the new dragon, with, with the new dragon chow card, this Frying Shyvana onto the board, kills and eats this, and boom, that immediately puts Shyvana up to a 4-5 anyway. And when you attack forward, then she goes into a 5-6. So, without doubt, this is, I would not say this was a nerf to her. I think this was actually a significant buff to Shyvana, giving her that extra keyword of Fury. They had to take her attack stat down initially, but... It, it, it can go really big from there, so I actually do not consider this to be a nerf. I consider this to be a massive buff. So we wanted to play around with some dragon deck. So this is pretty much a standard dragon deck. Um, I know that I've been seeing a few people experiment with Jarvan, because obviously with dragons, you basically start to build such a pressure on the board in terms of that you end up with some big boy dragon, especially screeching dragon who can force out a, like defense on the attack turn. But in my opinion, I just didn't really want to have Jarvan in this deck. For me, one of the most crucial things about any kind of dragon deck is having the ability of using things such as strafing strike or concerted stri which it, um, strike or um, sharp strike, like different ways to get round what your opponent could throw at you. And Jarvan, why he is a massively glorious man who leaps forward into the field of battle and takes out the strongest uh, the strongest uh, uh, like enemy. The fear is he takes a big pull out of your mana and then if you needed to defend or do any kind of strike, especially when it comes to Shyvana, like a strafing strike or um, what you call it, concerted strike can really help her out in terms of level her if she's going to die. So at least if she dies, she gets leveled. So that's the reason why I decided not to. And instead, go for an ace. So ace old me, just like it's like the epitome of dragons, the starry eyed dragon himself. He is the blue eyes white dragon and um, or starry dragon. And I just have to put him in this deck. If I'm going to be honest, with you. I'm going to go dragons. I'm going to go all in on the dragons. So. This deck has got things such as stun mechanics, which can help you against a number of like the big things that are trying to attack forward from your opponent's side, just to make sure that they're being stunned. As well as there is, um, would you like the rally, so you can start actually just applying pressure yourself. And judgment, because who doesn't love a dragon deck that's running judgment just as a potential if your opponent goes wide on the board and they've got they've gone past the point where they can stop anything from. Um, like killing the unit that you're putting judgment on just that uh, works so well with things that have fury so that is why this is the deck that I'm working with in terms of dragons got a little bit of a dragons clutch in there as well just for watch it for like getting 
um, more dragons into your hand or even buffing the ones that are on board depending on what the situation is so this is the dragon deck this is the wing death i wanted to experiment with dragons again and this is my go at experimenting with them again so please let me know what you think down in the comment section down below as well as the fact that if you run this deck please let me know how it goes through all the games you will be seeing were streamed live so shameless plug time twitch twitter and instagram if you didn't know already i stream on twitch on mondays tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays so why not come catch the action live for yourself have a good time get in chat say like i say hello to me i love I like, so many people have come and said hi i've come over from your youtube and honestly it's such a big boost to me that just thank you for everyone who puts any kind of time and effort so that's another thing i do have an end of year goal of hitting 5,000 followers slash subscribers on youtube and twitch and that they're getting so close to getting there so honestly that is a big thank you to all of you because this, this channel would be nothing without you and i love the community that we are building around this and speaking of community why not get in that discord there is the discord link down below there's a lovely lot of like deck builders and whatnot that are building up in this channel who just like get on that discord like, sharing ideas and whatnot and like i'm in there as well uh, there's also a monthly games night and movie night so why not come have a good time and whatnot but honestly just thank you all so much i hope that you enjoyed this video enjoy the games that this deck did so let's see how this deck did in a couple of matchups we are against the pirate aggro deck which admittedly as long as we can i mean if we keep judgment we keep judgment for banter's sake right we're not going to use it for years but we keep it just just so that they know they don't know but they will potentially this could like give us a good trade-off I, I i should really get rid of judgment like the smart man i just got the rid of you okay the smart man move would have legitimately have been to get rid of everything like above like keep this guy and potentially have got rid of everything just to get some more like kind of like smaller units so i can at least defend myself in the early game because let's face it pirate aggro is very aggressive it comes at you and forces you to have to answer questions okay i might i could actually consider playing dragon chow right now just because if i played this guy it's just an immediate trade-off it's so aggressive it's like excuse me do you mind if i show some aggression so might as well do that letting him fight back for once letting the dragon chow fight back for once in his life it's not looking good though it's not looking good we might need to serve us here so we can throw you out we do have like a few okay so we've got we've got this option coming up very soon but it's still it's still a little way away it's not like it's instant. This is still a little way away. I kind of have to not... I kind of... Uh, okay, right. I, I will trade you. What I was trying to say is I basically have to stay back this round because I need to try to make sure that I'm... Like, if they throw down misfortune, I needed to have, like, somebody who would at least kind of threaten. I mean, admittedly, by doing that, I've got rid of the threat, but it's okay. I can still use Straping Strike if I needed to. So next turn, we want to throw out the Screeching Dragon. We need to find some of our heal moves right now. I was considering actually going with this. I won't accept that. Basically, what we will do is so next turn, throw the Screeching Dragon, of course. <laughs> I see your moves, Yugi. That's going to get getting rid of this as well. I could, I could save your life in order to know that the Screeching Dragon is going to come out with a lot more damage next turn. Plus, that is a draw card technically so i could save your life if i were to use the strafing strike because let's face it right now nothing is dying on my opponent's side of the field and um as much as he doesn't want to do this because obviously that would be a really powerful move for him. that is you need to remember this is still draw and an immediate buff on this screeching dragon so i'm willing to accept doing that it's a lot of damage that we are taking right now, but I'm willing to accept doing that for what I'm going to consider to be the greater good. Bear in mind, slowly but surely, this move is becoming a thing. Concerted Strike, we've now got more, more, of, our, more of our options. A true family and welcome. So, that's fine. I'm willing to accept. See, obviously, we're allowing them the ability to throw down Misfortune, but I don't mind allowing them the ability to throw down misfortune or potentially even yeah i don't mind because i've got a concerted strike plus there is the potential of judgment like slightly but surely coming out what we need to find is this deck does actually have i believe this deck did i put star shaping in this deck or did i leave star shaping out in my head i put star shaping in this deck so i mean 
we have got the option to go and um i feel like we might have to take it obviously they could further feel it is important right now i mean obviously we could have waited for a better move to do this but right now we want to be just like cutting all the damage out from underneath them and making it so that now we start developing dragons as we start developing dragons it becomes harder and harder for them to come back is going to be the plan here of course oh that's a lot of damage oh, all it takes is one decimate top deck star spring star spring is needed we should have actually potentially just gone into that attack and um concerted strike we should have left the concerted strike option open ah oh, oh, the cards yugi heart of the cards we do we wait just to see whether or not they develop or not because then we can kill whatever they develop i'm i feel like i, I i'm willing to wait to see whether or not they go for the decimate Ooh. it's not decimate <laughs> okay it's getting it's getting to that point it's getting to that point where they might drop down Gangplank. Maybe, I mean, because the fear of it is, I, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to wait. I'm willing to wait. I probably shouldn't. I should I should have just gone with the star shape and directly into core. I was just curious to see what they were going to do. But I should, I should have just star, star shaping directly into core. So I've got the option now of just doing this. It leaves the concerted strike option open if I need it. Willing to accept. Yeah, as long as I leave the concerted strike option open, I'll be absolutely fine. But ha, oh, the card Yugi find exactly what we needed. We could still throw out this little man. Still keeps the concerted strike option open. Because obviously we don't know whether or not this is going to be Gangplank or... Okay, it's not going to be Gangplank. So at this point, we are willing to take one. We are willing to take one. We didn't take it. Still got a concerted strike option. So if this is a further... If that was a further, we had the ability of like, you know, being able to get around it in a manner of speaking. We could start developing now. So throw another screeching dragon out. Gives us that little bit extra draw. We're starting to develop these dragons. They had the really aggressive early game, but now the tables are turning. How the turn tables turn. So could go in with that elusive damage right now. Could start, could start like trying to force that. I mean, obviously, do we still want to keep the concerted strike option open? My opponent could still throw down Gangplank with another Fervor and do four damage into my core. I've got to remember that that's a thing. But we just want to be trading off their options right now. Trading off their options. If we see Gangplank, we see Gangplank hit the field of play. We immediately concerted strike him. We immediately can set and strike it before they can start attacking in. Before they can start attacking in. So we just go, oh, hello, Gangplank. Be a shame if somebody were to say, send you to the graveyard. So that is him down. Two Gangplanks down, by the way. That is two Gangplanks down. One Powder Keg, which obviously said they could still have further. They could also still have Decimate, which would still be doing a lot. Of oh, the rallying! Oh, and so, and so, oh, there it is. They had such an aggressive start. But where are you now, pirate man? I mean, we're against Lysandra. We, we, we won't keep judgment for this one. <laughs> we won't keep judgment for this one, but we will keep the dragon chat and we will obviously keep our options open here, potentially. So we're going to be making a big usher up. Obviously, they're playing the Shadow Isles version of this deck. And the Shadow Isles version of this deck does have a lot of removal be it through what it vengeance ruinations and things such as that so not gonna lie it's gonna be a hard matchup especially when we are literally <laughs> not decking anything right now that we could use next turn we immediately go into shivana which she might she might end up being countered i'd be lying if i said i don't think that she's gonna be countered but we do we can throw shivana out with a strafing strike so if she does get vengeance we can at least remove their lissandra before she goes to the graveyard so that's not too bad i can accept that i pass there's no crazy moves on top of it i just pass there's no stupidity to expect i just simply pass lissandra but yes we've got the ability of potentially saving striking her off the field of play so there we go that's that means they're not gonna have vengeance they're not gonna have vengeance we eat the dragon chow and there we go yeah and take her off the field of play while there is no way 
for them to currently counter this situation because like i mean i guess troll chant but slowly but surely we will be just like trying to force that in slowly like we've got another one of these like and we can actually even throw the screeching dragon out next turn there we go one lissandra down one lissandra down obviously i said vengeance is still a possibility I'm willing to start developing because I said they still can't ruination right now. They'd be one mana away from ruination. So we start the development process. Oh, Trundle! <laughs> Trundle on Lysandra. There we go, Trundle. I wish I could grab I, I wish I could grab you with um with 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 you, with, with you. I wish I actually had the mana for a strafing strike right now. That'd be really good. Or even the mana for a sharp sight. So I could still throw the screeching dragon forward. <laughs> what? Nah, what? This game has only just begun! <laughs> Big... Ah! I see! Pig Banners! Yes! <laughs> I mean, should I just surrender right now? Should I just surrender right now? That name is too good. Like, they... <laughs> They already win the name game! Should I just immediately surrender? It's too late for me now. What is important is that we are against another Lysandra, which we Lysandra and uh, Trundle deck. And this time, this time, it might be too late for us. Thinking to myself, I might have to at least try, try and see my options here. The options are not the best. We still throw down Screeching Dragon to try and get rid of you, but all it takes is a vengeance from my opponent's side of the field. I should have pro actually no, we still got full spell mana. So if they if they do come up with counter of a vengeance, we can still strafing strike to remove the Lysandra. So I don't feel 100 percent bad about that. We've got right like we can turn this round. They might have the bigger the better name the bigger name. They might have the better name, but we can turn this round. Oh, okay, that makes things significantly harder. I need to stop coming up with penis jokes right now. This is not this is not the place for us to be going with these things. So I'm thinking to myself, at least at least trade this off. At least trade this off. Give us give myself a little bit of draw. And um, from that, we might then be able to. And obviously, obviously, they might have moves that can stop me. Yep, 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 yep. So they're gonna go directly into Fury of the North, aren't they? <laughs> I knew there was a chance of it, but I was willing to accept the risks because they needed to have that in the hand at that exact moment in time. So I, I was willing to accept the risks. I should not have accepted the risks, but I was willing to accept them. So damage, damage coming in. We do actually have a kill, so the damage is not really a problem. It's going to be when the Watcher comes out, which is going to be more the problem. So at least you've got a spell shield. Spell shield gives me the ability to potentially even said like you know go in a strafing strike at some point in the near future. Could have actually played down Dragon Chow before playing this, just so we would have got that initial buff. If I could still play Dragon Chow now, I don't know why I'm not playing Dragon Chow. I mean things are going terribly wrong here. I should have just why am I not just playing it? Part of me is considering immediately going forward. Obviously it would take him a little while to go through a freeze, but I'm willing to go with this. Feels like Trundle has to die. As much as he wants to kill Lysandra, and I feel like Lysandra needs to die, I also feels that Trundle needs to die before he gets his level up. So... We're, literally, the fireworks keep sounding... I mean, oh, it's guns. It is actually guns. I was going to say, the fireworks keep sounding like guns. Or it, look, it looks like guns. Every single move that gets made, all I'm hearing is... Dr -dr 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 also, I've got a concerted strike. I probably should have done this onto Lysandra and done the concerted strike over here. But I wanted to, I wanted to keep the option open for sharp sight if it was needed. But we can now also concerted strike the Lysandra down as well. Could also just immediately rally and go forward again. But part of me kind of wants to wait for me to have a little bit more development before I do that. I'm willing to accept just that allowing her to, allowing her to be dead. I'd, I'll, I'll be happy if she's dead. So she's dead. The dragons prevail. I want to save the map. I should have just thrown this. I should have thrown this down before throwing that down. Like the mistake in play was made years ago. Um, it, I, it's too late for me to correct it now. <laughs> it's too late for that to be corrected. The ice pillar now drop up. I figured to myself, do I just immediately rally? Do I just go sod this and let's go? But now part of me's thinking, could go with 
Like, it depends on who they throw down. If they throw Trundle down, potentially the chance of a mind splitter would not be the worst. I'm, I'm actually willing to pass all this mana. Because they could always have Ruination, but at this moment in time, Wild is not... Ah! Okay. I mean, I'm not going to lie. That's a big-ass play. So we know for a fact that they've got Ledros, and that's actually like basically like leveled their Lissandra in like one turn. <laughs> Let's think to ourselves, what's going to be the plan here? Potentially the better plan is to throw out, say, this guy. Oh, another day guiding the wall. This guy, allow him to defend the Ledros. We're still going to be taking some damage in here because, like, I mean, I, I was not actually expecting that. My guess was going to be that they were actually going to throw this in front of the Spectral Matron or even throw it in front of this just so that... But it's okay. I've still got a heal to core. I can live with these decisions. Yeah, I don't think even a heal and then that, because it's, it's only got plus two on its stats, I don't think that's going to help me out in any way, shape, or form. I would have needed a, like, a strike move in order to remove that. So, willing to unt accept that trade-off, I will probably go with this just to save this little man. I will save this little man! Obviously, we don't know what my opponent's going to throw at me. Probably like, ah, you know, oh, fading memories. So they wanna they wanna be sliding down my next turn as much as possible with frostbites. They wanna be frying down my which is like a my next turn they wanna be like trying to put me off as much as possible, which is understandable. We could go with the immediate stun in here, or we could go with making things cost less. We already know that they've got a Ledros. Part of me is considering thinking throw you down. I mean, but obviously, okay, we want to kind of be stunning Ledros on the same turn of play. It's really a difficult decision right now because my opponent's actually got, like, the the upper hand. I'm going to end up regretting the decisions that are made here today. I'm going to end up regretting the decisions that are made here today, but these are the decisions that I'm going to make. So, so I could have, like, waited for them to play the Ledros, or they could have just literally not... Okay, so they've got all the Ledrosses. All the Ledrosses right now. We take the damage. We can at least take down one of their, their things. Because bearing in mind that this deck is perfect removal. They're going to have Ledros. Uh, sorry, not Ledros. They're going to have, like, Ruination and things. That's why developing. And Vengeance as well is most likely, like, uh, in their list. So here we go. Here we go. It's coming at me. Coming at me. So what we want to do here is now we want to throw down the Infinite Mind Splitter. Obviously, we've got like an 8-8 coming at me very soon. My opponent is already Shadow Moting me. I guess we throw it down on both Ledrosses just to... Because I, I, I can trade this off, is what my point is. Obviously, it said Ruination is always a thing. Ruination is always a factor. Oh, the Ledrosses! <laughs> it's like all, all the Ledrosses coming, coming at me. So I have to I have to do this. I have to do this defense here. It's not the best, but they wanted to get rid of like at least we're stunning one of them. I was, I was wondering whether or not that's the reason why I didn't want to stun that is because I thought like they would go forward with it, like potentially. So <laughs> it's the shadow mode continuously coming at me. Might as well throw a heal in right now. I mean I know that obviously like, maybe I should have waited, but I feel like there's gonna be an atrocity move. Sod it. Throw the dragon chow out! So at least one of these Ledrosses is stunned, but literally, they have big advantage on me. Like, such big advantage. We could throw down the Mind Splitter to try and stun more avenues of play. But obviously, all it takes, all it takes is Vengeance and Ruination. All it takes is Vengeance, and obviously now, they could, we, we've actually given them the ability to use the Atrocity move because we've, out, we've got ourselves out the way of that, but I feel like I'm done either way. I feel like I'm done either way here, so <laughs> need to keep need to keep it up which is the option though. We need we need a strike move to stop if there was gonna be a um finish it. And also we've got Lysandra. We need we need concerted strike! We need concerted strike. My my only option here, we're stunning everyone, but oh there's no concerted strike! We need concerted strike! Because obviously if Lysandra drops I am Ledros, the King Shielder Woos! Okay, we go down to two. We go down to two, but it's okay. Could go with the rally, as I said, could, could go with the rally and go forward, but then we'll be allowed, we'll be knocking some of them out of stuns. We need to keep, we need to keep what we've got under wraps. 
We could go with this, go forward, and then whoever they defend with, we can sharp sight to get past. Might be my only option. Sounds stupid because it is, but this might be my only option. While their mana's down, to literally have to go forward. Go for, I mean, or do we even throw down Shivana right now? Throw, throw down Shivana. Keep our option open for sharp sight. And uh, we just, we just have to, have to go. Go, 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 go. We see you hit in. All I've got, all I've got is the hope right now that we can get past this. They stay on two. And if we can get through it, it immediately go, 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 go. Send everyone forward. All I've got, all I've got is go, 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 go. The only option now is go, 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 go. Ledros is coming at me for days, but your Ledros and King Shield don't mean shit. As long as they're behind the, sh which is the thing of that. Burning these things go before we see ruination. Go, 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 go. Oh, it just has to be done. <laughs> so let's see, see if they've got anything that can help them. Obviously, we could still see. Um, so, okay, freeze. Come on, they got, come on, you got. Okay, they get a bit, bit of healing. Bit of healing. Ice Quake hitting too. It's, oh my god, we went down to one. I mean, obviously, we could heal ourselves. But Shadow Moat to my opponent. If they would have gone for an atrocity move, we had the strafing strike to take down whatever they had, as well as the healing move. But honestly, Shadow Moat to my opponent. Really well played. It was the amount of Ledros. It's like King Shield. Let me show you the King Shield. King Shield. King Shield's like, oh, I don't need King Shield. It's fine. <laughs> Speaking of the devil, Unti shall appear. Actually, gonna keep keep the Eggman. We kind of want to keep a, a, a strafing strike so we can potentially remove the Lucian if needed. It's such a good turn one. It's a turn one decimate. It's a turn one decimate with four damage. What like if, if your opponent's got no way of dealing with it? It's devastating. So we throw the Eggman out. Potentially, if we see Lucian play. Go get him, Eggman! Obviously, I said, like, you know, we could we could see Lucian play. We don't, but it was an option. So, we throw out the Eggman again. Ooh! You know, we, 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 we throw out the Eggman again. Obviously, there would have been the option if we hadn't spent the mana that we could have, like, thrown down you with... So, I mean, I, I'm weird to accept this. So, that that's what I mean. They're getting the value off of that scout coming in now. So, obviously, they get a scout... Get a sand soldier off of it. Get that. So at least we actually trade. At least we've got the the units which are good enough to be able to actually trade through this and actually be okay. And then they go forward again. Azir's command. That's so much of me just considering just power cascade right now. <laughs> so much of me just considering power cascade to to like because obviously we could throw we could. I mean, technically, we could actually... Uh, it would be so stupid of me to use that there, in my opinion. Like, I, I could do it to keep both of these units alive. So I've got, like, two units of trade. Oh, it would be so stupid. But at the same point, so much of me really wants to do it for some reason. I don't know why every part of my being wants to do this move. It's totally not the right move. But so much of my body... So much of my body for some weird reason wants to do that and if I've learned anything It's to allow my weird body to do what my weird body wants itself to do <laughs> If I've learned anything, it's that so expect to see there there's there's the valor again I mean they could have they could have um, What's his face? Oh, I was almost got expecting there to I mean, okay. They, they just went out the valor, right? Okay. <laughs> I was wondering whether or not they wanted to have so is this do we see Lucian enter the field of play? Ooh, we don't. It would have been so much more better if we would have basically used the um which it sharp sight to get you up to the ability to trade off Azir. That would have been a far superior move to the moves that I used. <laughs> but I guess we can still kill the Valor and stop them from getting that additional value off of the Azir right now, because obviously with this. They're going to be getting like two summons, which would yet again level a zero itself. So, feels like the smarter move here is just to trade away 
trade away the Valor. Potentially, we might see a sharp sight to try and like, uh, or not. That's fine. Because we had a power cascade as well that would have covered us. That's why I don't mind that. We can at least defend self. And they're so close to the level up. Uh, we can at least defend self. And I guess we could power cascade. Doesn't kill this, but it's not the worst situation to be in. I, I will take that. Judgment! Okay. We could have actually thrown the Eggman in front of this just so she wouldn't have taken so much damage. But we need to accept that as we get the level up. Getting the level up, which now means that by just going forward with her, we get the strafing strike, which gives us the ability to trade the which it, uh, trade the Azir off the field of play. So as much as he wants to do other moves. Dragon fire, we go, go, go! <laughs> Go forward and we can strafe and strike a zero off the field of play. So obviously that, that that's fine. Willing to accept. Willing to accept. Ah Well played! Well played! Tell the people what we have seen here today! Tell the people what we have seen here today. We want to keep judgment as an option. We honestly want to keep judgment as an option. Part of me is honestly maybe just consider. I mean, no, actually, no, because we wouldn't be able to have judgment. So we need to at least have one mana. For judgment to be a thing, we need to at least hold on to one mana. So if we throw down just this on its own, because I was obviously thinking throw this down, then throw that down. But if we do that, it throws it throws out of the mana for, for judgment. So my opponent could rally, potentially, for all we know, but we shall wait. Together, my opponent is probably gonna rally you are my opponent is probably going to rally right now yep yep makes sense it make up the sense oh, I've only read the judgment we, we, wait, we wait we wait we wait I want to keep this I want to keep the uh, move open for next turn as long uh, we could I mean we could uh, we could take the damage we could take off the damage might end up regretting my decisions here. Because obviously they... Uh, did they throw down a dais? No, they haven't thrown down a dais. Because obviously we've not done any, any removal. So as I say, all they get is plus one, plus one off of the, the thing. I am willing to accept going down to ten. I will accept the charges. So all you've got is the big... Which is big golden bird man himself to go forward with at the moment. All you've got is him. Obviously you might draw something. But it's okay. As long as... The order is given! <laughs> I'm weird to wait. I'm weird to wait. To I'm weird to wait. I'm weird to wait. Shows of power excite the people and quell our enemies. I'm willing to wait! <laughs> Your Emperor Woo's commands! <laughs> so I guess we do that just in case there's a there's a, a counter there, but <gasps> has to be done so single combat could be a thing single combat could oh i mean yep so that just means actually because the kill goes first which means that she gets that one extra damage which means that still doesn't mean you protect nothing because it goes by kill so the first kill goes being that it goes up to the additional damage to do that so it was all about positioning. GG and Shadowmo to the Emperor as we go <laughs> across the field of battle. I'm willing to wait. <laughs> I'm willing to wait. So that is the winged death deck. As you can see, actually like really powerful once it gets going and its ability to, have to like uh, strike things up. I'm not saying that this is the epitome of what this deck is. There's definitely a bunch of dragons decks out there and there's so many different ways to build it. As I already alluded to at the beginning, a number of people have been putting Jarvan in the list and so it's not a bad choice like, you know, with um, things that go on, but it's like literally so many other different ways of building this kind of deck. Some people run um herald of dragons some people run um what's the spell the spell which basically like gets everyone's 
like unit cost down by one in the hand. I can't remember what the hell it's called. It's like the trumpet thing. It's the trumpet card thing. I can't remember what the hell it's called. But there's so many different ways of building this kind of a deck. And um, this is just my attempt at it. But if you do run it, please let me know where it goes. Or if you make any changes, let me know what changes you make. As well as the fact that obviously I said you can join the Discord. Discord link down below. There's a games night and a movie night that we run in there monthly. So why not consider joining it? The lovely community that we're building there. As well as obviously you can catch me on Twitch. All the games that you saw were streamed, were streamed live. So uh, if you want to come catch me on Twitch live Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays yet again link down below but honestly just thank you all so much for watching thank you all so much for the support your comments your um likes just anyone who goes over and does actually follow on the Twitch just thank you all like I said this channel would be nothing without you and the lovely community that we're building so honestly thank you so much I hope you have a great day evening night or whatever it is for you and until next time bye Flash of brilliance that could save me. Save me! That doesn't save me! Okay. Is there anything from you? Save me. That doesn't save me! Okay. <laughs> get rid of this and get rid of this. Find something that can save me!